WBCB presents Pro Wrestling Weekly. The longest running pro wrestling radio talk show in the history of terrestrial radio. And he's obviously Michael Cole. Call in with a question or comment at 215-949-3232 or 888-922-2149. Talking wrestling. Yeah. Because that's what this show's about. That's what we've been doing for over 16 years. No, 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 no. It's about sports entertainment. And now here are your hosts of Pro Wrestling Weekly. For Ron Derry and Lucas DeSangro. Will you stop marking out over there? Sorry. Move over, kid. I'm taking your microphone. You're shallow. You know that? (laughs) I'm running on two hours of sleep. I don't remember what the hell I do anymore. Shut up! There's the sound of the bell, and we are set to go. This is Pro Wrestling Weekly here on 1490 WBCB and online at WBCB1490.com. Ferran Derry here with you, flying solo today as uh, making his way in the air a little bit later tonight will be uh, Lucas as right now he's down in the dirty, dirty down in Atlanta, spending uh, spending some quality uh, time with a family member here as, uh, yeah, he let me know about that earlier this week and I went, oh, okay, it's uh, good to know. So he'll be... He will not be with us. I tried to see if he could call in, and uh, he said that he would love to, but he can't. And I asked why not, and haven't heard back regarding that. So, hmm, who knows what trouble he's getting into. I'm sure whatever it is, uh, it's probably something that he did, or maybe something he didn't do, as he has so eloquently said before. So, a lot to get into this week, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it here. I know... uh, a lot of you uh, might be making your way or have already made your way down to uh, South Philadelphia as there's a lot going on down there at the moment, including the Icons of Wrestling Collector Fest currently going on as uh, a lot of dignitary names have made their way in, uh, most notably Jerry Lawler as well as good old JR, who in fact uh, took in a little uh, ball game last night. Uh, a lot of people might have uh, seen if they were watching the uh, the Phillies. Okay, I realized as I said that that probably... Uh, might be a bit hyperbolic, but uh, nonetheless, uh, Jim Ross was in attendance at the Phillies game, and uh, he was having a nice little chat with uh, former Phillies manager Charlie Manuel. Uh, so that I can only imagine the stories that those two were sharing. Certainly, very interesting to say the least. But uh, Ross is at the uh, Collector Fest today. Also, the Rock and Roll Express are down there. Tony Schiavone. Courtesy of uh, RF Video, uh, we're looking here, Road Warrior Animal, King Kong Bundy, uh, Joey Matthews, formerly known as Joey Mercury, uh, Chavo Guerrero Jr., Tammy Sitch, Bully Ray, The Godfather, uh, The Killer Bees, B. Brian Blair, and Jumpin' Jim Brunzel, Tito Santana's down there, Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, Papa Shango, uh, The Nasty Boys, a whole bunch there, and uh, of course later tonight also is the House of Hardcore event at the 2300 Arena. That should be a lot of fun as well. I have a hunch we'll be hearing uh, from a couple of people uh, perhaps on that as uh, as time permits here. We'll certainly see what we can do. And also, well, we've got some uh, news and notes to get into here. Uh, including, uh, well, we'll talk a little bit about the uh, renewal of a very popular TV series. As, uh, well, I guess Netflix series, I should say. And uh, also uh, some international viewing news uh, as far as some companies that WWE is uh, involving themselves with here. And uh, we'll also get into some injury updates based on some, uh, uh, one, of, one of them from, uh, from some news I delivered last week. And also a little bit of fun as well, uh, courtesy of a WWE Hall of Famer and... Uh, Hitting the links a little bit, which, uh, well, we'll get more into that in the hour as well. But, uh, yeah, I know so many things going on here. It's uh, uh, where to start exactly. Uh, well, one thing to uh, to note, I do have a message to pass along courtesy of our friends over at George's Cards and Collectibles. Uh, George issuing a statement on Wednesday saying, quote, I'm sorry to announce that Cinemania will not be taking place on September 16th. Our headline talent canceled due to a scheduling conflict, and we haven't been able to come up with a comparable replacement. We hope to have our headliner appear at an in-store signing. At this time, we do not plan on running another show as the talent pool has been overused. 
We will continue to have our monthly signings at our Neshaminy Mall location. Check out George's Collectibles for all signing announcements. Sorry for any inconvenience. So uh, that coming from George, the sign mania which we were looking forward to a little over a month from now, uh, looks like that has been scrapped. And, uh, of course, as you know, George's has two locations for all of your cards and collectibles needs. Their original store at 7755 New Falls Road in Levittown, as well as in the Neshaminy Mall in the movie theater wing. For more information, including those signings, go to georgescollectibles.com and follow George's Cards and Collectibles on Facebook. So in a uh, follow-up from last week, uh, WWE announcing that uh, Bailey will miss her advertised SummerSlam match due to a separated shoulder, so that injury being worse than uh, thought. The company released a new video with uh, Mike Rome announcing two triple threat matches from this past Monday's Raw with the winners meeting this coming Monday to determine who will challenge Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship at SummerSlam. And this Monday we've got Nia Jax against Sasha Banks for that number one contender spot. And the winner again taking on Alexa Bliss at SummerSlam one week from tomorrow. Looking at the rest of the SummerSlam lineup. Well, we've got a few matches added over the course of the week, including John Cena against Baron Corbin, as well as Finn Balor facing Bray Wyatt. And also the Big Show against the Big uh, yeah, against Big Cass, a battle of the bigs with uh, Enzo Amore. A rare, uh, a rare time where the good guys uh, suspended in the uh, uh, or kept at bay. In this case, Enzo Amore will be suspended above the ring in a shark cage. Trying to get use out of that shark cage, uh, shark cage as much as possible. There. Also, uh, also added a uh, the tag team titles being defended. New Day defending those tag titles, the SmackDown tag titles that is against the Usos. And those are added to the already uh, noted matches: uh, Randy Orton against Rusev, also AJ Styles defending the United States Championship against Kevin Owens with Shane McMahon as a guest referee. You've got the cruiserweight title on the line of Neville defending against Akira Tozawa. And then the SmackDown Women's Championship on the line as Naomi puts the title against Natalia. And then you've got well, the two heavyweights. Uh, the WWE Championship, Jinder Mahal defending against Shinsuke Nakamura. And for the Universal Championship, a fatal four-way, Brock Lesnar defending against Roman Reigns, Samoa Joe, and Braun Strowman. That should certainly be a lot of fun. And next week we'll have the predictions certain to go wrong coming up for that here. All righty. You know what? Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, it's usually a little earlier than usual, but uh, better early than never? I don't know. Uh, we'll go to the, uh, the phones here. We've got Ed from Northeast Philly. Ed, welcome to Pro Wrestling Weekly. Good afternoon. Hey, hey what's going I'm on? I've done the convention. You are live from the Collector Fest. What is the, yes. uh, what is the atmosphere like down there? I'm standing in front of one of your favorites, Joel Goodhart. Oh yes, Joel Goodhart. Man, I I I haven't talked to him in ages. I need to fix that. I gotta well, drop him a line or something. What, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> well, just to catch up. What's uh, what's going on? How's uh, how's things in the life of uh, in the life of Joel here? Well, the life of Joel is good. Uh, Joel Blackheart is back with the ECWA, so doing some stuff with them. But times are good, fun, fun times. How come you're down where you're at and you're not here at the convention? Well, that's a, as I say, that's a very long, uh, a long convoluted answer. But the uh, the short version <laughs> is, uh, I was trying to be thrifty in terms of uh, the vendor tables. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, there's a great crowd out here. Everybody's having a lot of fun. Rock and Roll Express is out here. Jim Ross is here. CBIC is here, Nikolai Volkov is here, Tommy Rich, he and I go back a long way, Bobby Fulton, he and I go back a long way, Manny Fernandez used to work shows for me all the time, Santana's here, King Kong Bundy, Greg Valentine is here, and you're not. Yeah, I know, and uh, it, it does pain me a little bit as I look at the lineup here, I'd love to be among them, uh, my good buddy, uh, the Blue Meanie's down there, I know. Uh, uh, that's right, Blue Meanie is here, Blue Meanie and I go back to 1986. Wow, so there's a lot of history. Here. Yeah, there definitely is a lot of history there, and oh, uh, there's a lot of history. Right now, I'm looking at a table. 
where Ricky Morton and, and um, his partner, Robert, Robert Gibson, are, talking, yep. Yep, are talking to Animal, who's here, and Bobby Fulton. Now, those four are all talking to each other. Where can you see that anywhere but here? It's definitely a great time, and it goes on until 3 this afternoon, so there's still time to head on down to the 2300 Arena. Yeah, good seats still available. Hold on, I'll put them back on. Good talking to you. Uh, good talking to you. J never yeah. know who you're going to run into here. Uh, J Joel Goodhart yeah, uh, hopping on here. I'm <laughs> <laughs> walking on everybody's toes today. Yeah, and uh, and of course later tonight is the uh, the House of Hardcore uh, event going on at the uh, the same 2300 Arena. House of Hardcore 33. And like I said, the tickets are good, still good seats available at the noon today. Yeah, it certainly, uh, as I say, certainly should be a goodie here. I mean, I'm seeing Tommy Dreamer on the uh, the card. I see, uh, looks like from what I can see on the picture here, MVP. Uh, looks to be advertised. Let's see here. Superstars confirmed. Tommy Dreamer, Bully Ray, Sammy Callahan, uh, Jake Hager, formerly known as uh, Jack Swagger, um, The Rock and Roll Express, MVP, Bobby Fish, Rhett Titus, Bull James. Uh, Mickey, uh, Mikey Mifflack and Shane Douglas are in the corner here. Oh, oh wow. Yes, the ECW Originals in the ECW yeah. Arena. The franchise, Shane Douglas, Mikey Whipwreck. Uh, J.I. and King next to them. Oh, very nice. I, I, man, it's been so long. I mean, uh, since uh, since J.R. did the uh, the one man show here, uh, Royal Rumble weekend back in uh, back in January of 2015, uh, and I had the uh, honor of having him on the show here uh, not once but twice. Uh, I mean, certainly a, a fantastic guy, and uh, I mean, being paired there with his longtime broadcast partner Jerry the King Lawler. Uh, I mean, it's definitely a treat for all those who are down there. And there's there's other shows in the area too, not just here. Uh, yeah, well, and and that's what's uh, that is what is yeah. so great about this area and the the yeah. tri-state area of, around Philadelphia and and Jersey and Delaware is that you have so many options for yeah, Casey, great wrestling. Keystone Championship is here, and I think they, somebody told me it was Marple Newtown. Area they'll have the show. Uh, I know that they uh, they certainly get around um, in, into and that be uh, Darby central. At the end of the month, somebody told me. Darby, Pennsylvania, at the end of the month. I'll probably be looking into that. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, Darby is one of the uh, the places that they're going to be here. Um, uh, yeah, I do see that they're at the uh, the icons of wrestling and. Uh, Let's see. Yep, they're over there. Uh, they're at the Marple uh, Marple Sports Arena in uh, in Broomall. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking here on their uh, on their Facebook page here, uh, kind of seeing everything oh, that's going on. Dylan just waved at somebody. I don't know if you, who you're making to. Well, it's hard to say. There's so many. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's a, it, a, a lot of these things. I mean, it's great for the fans to meet a, a lot of these. Uh, a lot of the the the, the names from yesteryear. And, yeah, and in some Tony cases Kibbe current as well, but uh, a lot of these guys are catching up with each other, guys and gals, yeah. that, uh, that haven't seen each other in a while. stumbling around here somewhere. <laughs> What's that, the I Sam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, Gary what Michael mean? Capetta, I know uh, I was in for, uh, he, yeah, he had a uh, seminar not too long ago with the, uh, the, the Monster Factory. I didn't see Bill Apner yet. Uh, I'm... I'm uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, was I was gonna, gonna say he's to he's always certain to be phone. around. That's for sure. I was going to try to get him on the phone, but I don't see him just yet. Uh, I, I was gonna say I'm I'm dropping the ball left, right, and sideways here. I I meant to reach out to him too to uh, to talk about his uh, about his book and uh, a bunch of other things here. I mean, I guess in that case, better late than never. But uh, yeah, I can uh, as I say that might be something for down the road. Although coming up, uh, I, I was going to talk about this a little bit later, but uh, live on the radio. Loyal Bane Ness is I'm standing in front of, of Loyal Bane Ness from Impact. Can I help you, sir? Fine. Oh, oh uh, yes. <laughs> craziness here. You can see there's insanity going on at the uh, huh? at the <laughs> Icons of Wrestling and Comic Book oh, Collector sorry. Fest. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, I do appreciate uh, a little bit of a, uh, a look at the, uh, at least in, in yeah, an audio in on-site uh <laughs> 
uh, presentation of everything going on down at the uh, the Collector Fest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ed, uh, Ed, you enjoy yourself there and uh, have a great time meeting everybody, and uh, we'll catch up next week leading into uh, into SummerSlam. Yes, yeah. I'll have more than this next week. Yeah, more than understandable. You got enough on your plate down there. No. <laughs> uh, all right, good talking to you. All right, bye. Bye-bye. So there you go, a uh, little... A little bit of a, a, a peek in for those who uh, haven't uh, made it down there or uh, weren't able to uh, make the trek down to the Icons of Wrestling and Co- Comic Book Collector Fest going on now through uh, 3 o'clock. It started at 9 o'clock this morning, and I mean, you heard just a few of the names here. I mean, the and the few, quite a few I didn't even mention. Uh, the Patriot, uh, Velvet Skies down there, P.D. Williams, uh, Ken Anderson, uh, they mentioned J.J. Dillon. Uh, two cold Scorpios down there. Uh, it, it just all these different names all conglomerated in this one location, and uh, just twenty bucks to get in there, and then uh, you know then getting to meet all the uh, the different people there. It's uh, it, yeah, certainly a treat to say the least. So we'll uh, take care of our first time out here, and we'll come back. We'll get into more of the news and notes, and. Uh, uh, also, speaking of interviews, I've got one coming up in a few weeks here. I've put it up on social media, but uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that on the other side as well. This is Pro Wrestling Weekly here on 1490 WBCB and online at WBCB1490.com. Tasty Cake would like to salute you, the great sports fans of Philadelphia. Whether your team is up or down, there's one winner you always count on Tasty Cake. Mm. With fan favorites like candy cakes, crimpets, mini donuts, and our famous pies, Tasty Cake has been Philly's ticket to Major League goodness for over 100 years. Find Tasty Cake treats at a store near you, for yourself, for your team, and just for the fun of it. Tasty Cake. Phillies fans, if you want to get inside the game, inside the team, and inside the strategy, then we've got you covered. Tune in to the Baseball Insiders, presented by SEPTA, every Sunday following Phillies baseball. Former Phillies All-Stars Ricky Vitalico and Tommy Green join host Phillies Director of Fun and Games John Brazier to recap all the action and look ahead to what's coming up for the fight in Phillies. The Baseball Insiders, presented by SEPTA, right here on 1490 WBCB and video stream live at WBCB1490.com. Be sure to tune in to Senior Legal Strategies with Henry Carpenter every Tuesday morning at 9, right here on 1490 WBCB. All commentators heard on WBCB express their own views. Their opinions are not necessarily those of others on WBCB, including the staff and management. Brian Westbrook here to tell you about my good friends over at Golden Nugget Jewelers. Just because I used to leave it all in the field doesn't mean you have to leave all your money at the register to get her that special engagement ring. Head on over to Golden Nuggets Showroom on the corner of 8th and Chestnut to get treated like a Hall of Famer. They've got the best selection of loose diamonds, the best prices, and lifetime guarantees. But what really sets Golden Nugget apart is a family-owned, friendly atmosphere. Golden Nugget Jewelers, it's where Philly gets engaged. He's oh, got man. the Luigi death stare from Ferran, so he might have to I didn't him. give you the Luigi death stare. That's Shh, not true. You're breaking cave <laughs> Breaking cave <K-fabe. laughs> Gonna break something else during this commercial. There we All go. Right. That's what I like to see. And now, more Pro Wrestling Weekly with your hosts, Ferran Derry and Lucas DeSangro. Are so we good. getting into that controversy again? <laughs> Ugh, I know how it feels, and it's not fun. Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Weekly here on 1490 WBCB and online at WBCB1490.com. Ferran Derry here with you, and uh, you never know who's going to uh, going to pop in here. I mean, as you saw just on the other, uh, or heard on the other side, uh, having a chat with Joel Goodhart, a longtime promoter here in the uh, the Philadelphia area, calling in uh, courtesy of Ed from uh, Northeast Philly, uh, live down at the Collector Fest, but... Uh, Currently here, uh, meandering his way through the WBCB studios, none other than the philosopher Chris Ermer, full of glory and renown. A hearty good afternoon to you, Ferran, and to the world of Pro Wrestling Weekly. What's up, all? <laughs> How's things? Uh, it's uh, just another day in paradise here, uh, I the suppose. Rock's getting rid of his tattoo. Yes. Goodbye, Brahma Bull. <laughs> Oh wow! You, you, and see, this is—I wasn't necessarily going to, to get into this, but I mean, that's—it it shows you where the uh, the mindset of various uh, people are when it comes to professional wrestling. Yes, that was a uh, 
a thing that uh, was talked about in uh, in fairly decent detail over the course of the week. The uh, the the classic Brahma bull tattoo. I guess you can't have that in the Oval Office. No Brahma bull tattoos permitted in the White House. The Rock wants to go to the White House. Good luck, buddy. Ah, uh, well, yeah, it's something that I mean. It, that tattoo is what I mean. That, that that's where a lot of the. Uh, Oh, uh, what is it? I mean, that's where a lot of the the imagery, a lot you know, a lot of the T-shirts and things, uh, the, you know, various. Uh, I mean, that that was imagery that made him a lot of money as a wrestler, based on that Brahma bull tattoo on his shoulder, and now he's uh, evolved it, I suppose. Yeah, uh, it says I've ingrained. I'm, I'm looking here from uh, an Instagram post from The Rock. Uh, it says I've ingrained this bull in my DNA for two decades. My core. Humbly, it's also become a symbol of strength, resilience, heart, power, and defiance to so many people around the world. I got this tattoo when I was just a kid. Now I need it to reflect me as a man. All my ink is a rite of passage and spiritual, and the mana, power and spirit, has to be right before we begin. Interesting stuff. Uh, He's getting philosophical. uh, He is, but, uh, I mean, the, the transformation... I mean, I've, I've, got, I've got a side-by-side picture here. I mean, you, you can barely recognize where the old Brahma bull tattoo was. As it now looks like, I don't know, almost a, a a bull skull, kind of over top of it and enveloping it in a sense. He's getting ready to be the first shirtless president. Good luck, The Rock. He'll take it. will be his press conferences. He'll be topless, but there'll be no tattoo and everyone will be happy with his well no i mean no there's there's you know the tattoo is bigger it's not so much that he removed the tattoo here let me uh what spin the screen around here (laughs) oh wow yeah no he 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 didn't remove the tattoo he just he put more ink on top of it and made it even bigger now the the rock is uh very inked up he's Uh, doubling down i thought he was back in i thought he was moving away from the ink no, just the opposite. Well, so, okay. Well, that's not going to look great from the podium. Uh, yeah, of course we we did we yeah we have talked about that here on the show. The uh, the rock is he going to throw in feelers out there? Okay, he hasn't yeah. made anything official yet, but he's uh, feelings. Yeah, he's he's thrown some feelers out there about uh, possibly uh, thro- throwing his uh, throwing his hat into the uh, political ring Nothing in uh, in twenty twenty. But nothing, yeah, nothing official yet. So uh, I, I, I don't know if his celebrity status helps him or hurts him, given everything that's gone on here currently. Not that I want to turn this into a Saturday speak your piece. <laughs> Would he appear on the ballot as the Rock? That might help. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Who's this? Okay, if you put it in the the quotes. Yeah, you Dwayne have to put the quotes the of Dwayne Rock the yeah Johnson. That would be a first. You don't see too many presidents with their nicknames on the ballot. No, you certainly wouldn't. <laughs> and people say Dwayne Johnson. I don't know that guy. The Rock, though. And and, and well, voice. there's been that kind of evolution. I mean, you see it with his movies, where I mean, for an, an initial while he was The Rock, and then he kind of transitioned into Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and then for a little bit it was Dwayne Johnson, and then the pendulum kind of swung back the other way, and now there's more of an embracing of the rock character that got him the prominence that he has today as i mean obviously as a wrestler as well as an actor well just as per normal i got it totally wrong i thought he was getting his tattoo removed but yeah no he uh he has definitely i mean based on the size of it it looks more like it tripled down as he says here after three sessions and 22 hours of tattooing wow with uh world-renowned uh nico hurtado uh, it says, the story's almost done. Every detail is a reflection of my own personal history, from the cracks and heavy damage in the bone representing life's hard lessons I've learned over the years. Just like s- scars and wrinkles, I'm so grateful to have them because they're earned. Mm. To the horns, not pointing up or out to the side, but pointing straight ahead, representing relentless energy and forward progress. Wow. Uh, the core and anchor of this image is the eye. Look closely and you'll find the life, energy, power, and and you'll feel the mana spirit. Does he have like a team of Hemingways all banging out on typewriters, working on that stuff? That is some, that's well, some like high literature there, right? You, you got to figure. I mean, th- this is a guy who's been doing promos in a wrestling ring, you know, over twenty years ago now, and 
Yeah, I mean, you you have to have a creative mindset when it comes to being able to speak on a microphone in a wrestling ring and and talk about your opponent. Now he's, I mean, in this case, his opponent is uh, is life in a sense, and kind of talking about his experiences and whatnot. I think that came from like a team of writers. It could be. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it's his pre-campaign team. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he's putting it together. I, I love. But, yeah. Wanted to check in because I heard you got banged up a little bit. Eh, I mean, some... I, Father Time does that. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm still a little bit on the uh, recovery uh, from from the surgery here uh, back in February. But uh, I mean, it's one of those things where one thing heals and another thing uh, it gets banged up. It's just it happens with Father Time. And I was hoping to bang into Lucas. Who's doing big things? I'm seeing all this stuff. You're seeing him, yeah, com- uh, competing he's in matches, out. and it, he is. He's he's doing uh, he's doing it's great Twitch things Mania. down there. Running wild. Well, hey, hey take it easy. <laughs> Let's not go too far here. But no, he's uh, he, he is he has progressed very greatly. Not only uh, not only in the ring as a uh, as a wrestling student, but also here. Uh, I noted last week was. Uh, four years since he has been on the show here. Uh, yeah. Started out uh, the evolution from the uh, overly, you know, from that high pitched, almost squeaky, fifteen year old voice to the nineteen year old that he is now. It's uh, like when you watch a sitcom and you see the kids grow up over the course of the series. I mean, that's what uh, that's what it's become for Twitch. Well, and you guys have grown together. All right, that's this is true. I'm, that's what I'm saying. You guys have. It's a team. It, it is. Where's he? Where, what's it he takes doing? a village. Uh, he is right now down. Uh, he is down south visiting uh, family. Uh, as um, it's that time of year. Well, a little time yeah. off, a little uh, time away. Yeah, exactly, a little time. Yeah. That's well, true. as it is, I mean, with uh, with with his uh, with his job that he has, he's pretty much uh, the prince of part time around here anyway. <laughs> so yeah, he's. I mean, he's gotten to the point where he is here more often than he isn't, but. Um, not by much. We'll just uh, we'll leave it at that. He definitely qualifies uh, as being part time. Well, I'm a member of Twitch, Twitch Nation. Okay, the philo- <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start that. right You're going to start that now, yeah. Twitch Nation. Okay. Twitch. Yeah, that's right. I'll have to. You know, what? I, I'm. I will send him a text to let him know that because uh, I'm, I'm sure he's. Well, yeah. at least I would hope he's paying attention. I, I offered to have him call in, and he said that he couldn't. Uh, so, I'll, yeah, I'll let him know that uh, Chris Ermer is, uh, is is starting up Twitch Nation. You got to keep our eye. You got to watch us closely. We every now and then we twitch. Then they, then you know that guy's that guy's a member of Twitch Nation. Oh man, the, <laughs> <laughs> you you never yeah you never know where things are going to go around here. Anyway, Chris, uh, thank thank you so much for uh, taking a couple minutes to I'm chime in. Uh, uh, you don't, well, no, no, I mean, do you want to stick around? I, Actually, I, I I was planning on getting to the bank. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> that was kind of why I figured you were uh, you were in here, and uh, of course, here I am ruining that for you. No, so. this is perfect. This is perfect. I was glad to jump in and talk about have the a Brahma few laughs Bull. and yeah, talk, talking about the Brahma Bulls tattoo. Get uh, things clarified for myself. That's why I like to talk to Ferran because I then he says, well, actually, um, you were actually thinking about it kind of totally wrong. He didn't get his tattoo removed. Well, see, he I got, didn't put it that way. I just, I, I mean, I didn't say totally wrong. No, I was just, no, it's good for me to get uh, <laughs> get corrected. I, I don't mind it. That's 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 good. Yeah, the fact that WWE had, uh, you know, they even put the story on their website and. Uh, yeah, I think The Rock even had some, uh, yeah, yeah, some some video things. It, it's 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 a really cool thing. It was actually posted uh, yesterday. Uh, like uh, to, you know, the way you you help me to find the truth in a diplomatic manner allows me to move through my day without being such a doofus anymore. <laughs> and so that 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 always is appreciated. I'm glad to know that I'm a beacon of responsibility that can help that's, find the truth. That's, that's right. That's right. I, that's how we look. At, to you here at WBCB. Exactly. Uh, for, for those who claim otherwise, uh, wrestling nor our news here is fake. <laughs> That's right. Oh, did I just go there? Yeah, I guess you did. Angry phone calls coming now here. <laughs> All right, man. Well, good wrestling. Ah, and yes. good day. All righty. The philosopher Chris Ermer. <laughs> Full of glory and renown. 
a uh, mainstay staple here at the uh, at WBCB. Oh my gosh, can't wait for some Eagles football. I mean, you know, I'm I'm getting pumped up for some football. High school football, Eagles football, we got it for you on WBCB. We got games galore on the weekends, and it's just around the corner. So, little and those are all uh, video streamed. Uh, so, I was gonna say that uh, among the many advantages to the video stream is that uh, it, it reduces. Yeah, I was gonna say it reduces yeah. the preemptions for me here. No doubt. I know there might be one or two with uh, Pensbury. I think on Saturdays, but you, you you take you know you take whatever you can get. Yeah. So I I understand. Uh, yeah, I. I know my role, and I will shut my mouth, as uh, as The Rock has told many a people to do, to know their role and shut their mouth. So I will, uh, you know, when those situations arise, hey, it, it's what's best for business, as uh, Jim Foxwell drops as yeah, well. Yeah, we hope everybody out there is going to be checking it out, streaming the games, and figuring out what's going on with these birds here through WBCB. Yep, time will certainly tell. And, you know, other, like, Eagle stuff at WBCBSports.com, a brand-new sports website that we are rolling out there. And it's going to have, of course, high school sports content, but then uh, Eagle stuff as well as we keep you updated with what's going on with the playoff-bound Eagles. I heard it from Merrill. He said 10 wins. Really? And, you know, I, don't, I guess that might have been in confidence. Sorry, Merrill. <laughs> I better get out was of that, here. Was that in confidence or overconfidence? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I mean, they're 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 definitely on the rise. I just there's uh, reason to believe. Oh, there most certainly is. I'm and I'm not. Uh, I'm not discrediting by any means. I just. Uh, yeah, nine I don't points know. in their first preseason game was not an overwhelming tally. I would say, but who knows if that's an indicator of what's to come or what is. By, by no means do I profess to be one of the uh, the sports experts around here, and there are a lot of people here who uh, far surpass me on that, and their uh, their resumes certainly prove that. But without getting into you know, without turning this into uh, as you said, who knows where we're going to go here on pro wrestling? Yeah, exactly. We've turned it briefly into pro football. Uh, well, I was going to say, but I think there is a pro football weekly name already, or something close yeah, and, to that. And but, the pro football and the report. pro football report. Which you can hear right here on WPCB with Merrill Reese. Exactly, Bob yes. Thursdays at 6. There you go. You WBCB. Got to get those shameless plugs in. I, much, I, I, and I'm not about to criticize for that because I'm right up there. I'm, I'm almost like Mick Foley, notorious for you know saying, right here in you know whatever town he's in, just to get that <laughs> uh, what's called cheap pop. Yeah. You know, to get the crowd to just yell and cheer because he said the name of the place that they're in. <laughs> And, and there's, uh, yeah, so n no complaints on that, uh, especially when it's uh, plugging the boss. Yes. And not and, a bad and, way And the to boss's go. show. Unless you get the boss's name wrong or the name of the town that you're in wrong, that's... Yeah, uh, our, our truth can certainly speak to that. When uh, uh, when WWE was in, uh, when when they were in, I believe it was Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and he said, you know, hey, you know, what's going on, Green Bay? <laughs> and... Yeah, they never let him forget. Oh uh, that. no, that's good. That's yeah, good. They, it, they, you don't like it to, it to happen, but sometimes these funny things happen. Well, I'll tell you what, we got a lot of good stuff coming up in the fall, and looking forward to it. But always a pleasure to pop in and see what's happening here in the world a of pro wrestling weekly. Absolutely, and uh, I mean, yeah, even though fall is approaching, we still have a little bit of summer left, including the Summer Slam pay-per-view one week from tomorrow, so uh, that should that should be a lot of fun up at the Barclays Center in uh, in, in Brooklyn. You going up there? You going to just I will not be couch? going up there. As uh, oh, no, Actually, neither. What I will be doing is uh, I'll be down in uh, the MFPW Arena in Paulsboro, New Jersey, as there is an event... One week from tonight, as the MFPW returns to the world-famous Monster Factory at 541 Mancho Avenue in Paulsboro. And uh, that's where you'll see Royal Money getting another shot at LSG's Supersonic Championship, but this time it's in a no-disqualification match. Plus, Primal Fear and Punishment Martinez will be in action. You'll see the return of Gabby Ortiz from Wrestling in Japan for Stardom as she faces Riley Shepard. Also, you'll see Getty Cahoon, Burke and Bender, Sage Matthews, Jackson Stone, Nick Camarado, Corey Hyena Hex, and more. Plus, and this is where this is all leading to, a ticket gets you access to a viewing party of SummerSlam the following night with the stars of the MFPW. So you can join me down there, go to the event, 
one week from tonight, and then come check out SummerSlam with the stars of the MFPW one week from tomorrow. And that's all at the MFPW Arena, 541 Mancho Avenue in Paulsboro, New Jersey. Tickets available now at eventbrite.com, and make sure to check out the MFPW and all things Monster Factory on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as at monsterfactory.org. And check out past matches, bios, bloopers, and more at the mfnetwork.com. Oh, talking to uh, talking to all kinds of folks here. The philosopher Chris Ermer. He had Joel Goodhart on earlier. We'll get to that news and notes on the other side here. This is Pro Wrestling Weekly here on 1490 WBCB and online at WBCB1490.com. Do you have ringing, hissing, buzzing, or pulsing in your ears? Then you are probably suffering from tinnitus. Over 60 million Americans experience tinnitus. That's one in five people. You don't have to just live with it. Take control of your tinnitus and rediscover life without constant ringing in your ears by calling the Hearing Center of Bucks County at 215-310-5237. Find out about the brand new, state-of-the-art AGX Tinnitus Management System. The tinnitus experts at the Hearing Center of Bucks County, celebrating over 30 years of providing outstanding personalized hearing care, will evaluate if this new technology solution is appropriate for you. Find out if this is your answer for ringing in the ears. Call the Hearing Center of Bucks County at 215-310-5237. Online at buckscountyhearing.com. Thousands of families affected by disasters, like the recent flooding, urgently need support. You can help the American Red Cross provide warm meals, shelter, and hope to families when they need it most. Please donate today to Red Cross Disaster Relief to help people affected by disasters, big and small. Go to redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS today. Your support is critical. We can't do it without you. You won't see termites crawling across your floor, but thousands might be devouring the wood in your walls, weakening the structure of your home. For over 50 years, termite proofing and pest control of the Delaware Valley has been in the exterminating business. If you think you have a pest problem, they're the experts. Call them today at 215-639-5455. That's 215-639-5455 for TPPC. Termite proofing and pest control of the Delaware Valley gives your home or business peace of mind knowing your pest problem is in their hands. Located at 1560 Bristol Pike in Ben Salem, they use only EPA-approved material applied by licensed technicians. Call Termite Proofing and Pest Control of the Delaware Valley at 215-639-5455. Elegant ambiance, sophisticated decor, award-winning Italian cuisine and wine, Davio's Northern Italian Steakhouse. Located in the historic Provident Bank building in Center City, Davio's is a Best of Philly Award winner. Executive chef David Boyle creates seasonal dishes as well as signature favorites such as the Davio's Natural Prime Brand Beef Steaks, award-winning veal porterhouse, fresh seafood, and handmade pastas. Davio's, 111 South 17th Street in Philadelphia. Pro Wrestling Weekly presents Today in Wrestling History, August 12. On this date in 1996, WCW Monday Nitro aired live from Casper, Wyoming. In the main event, Lex Luger and Sting fought Kevin Nash and Scott Hall to a no contest. On this date in 2002, WWE Monday Night Raw aired live from Seattle, Washington. In the main event, Christian, Lance Storm, Test and Triple H defeated Booker T, Goldust, The Rock, and The Undertaker in an eight-man tag team match. On this date in 2007, TNA held its Hard Justice pay-per-view. In the main event, Kurt Angle pinned Samoa Joe to retain the IWGP and TNA World Heavyweight Championships and win Samoa Joe's TNA X Division and World Tag Team Championships. On this date in 2012, TNA held its Hardcore Justice pay-per-view. In the main event, Austin Aries defeated Bobby Roode in a last chance match to retain the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. This has been Today in Wrestling History, August 12. Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Weekly here on 1490 WBCB and online at WBCB1490.com. Ferran Derry here with, uh, well, it seems like a cavalcade at this point uh, with people popping in and uh, whatnot, either on the phone or in person here. Twitch isn't one of them, but uh, 
He should be back next week. At least I certainly think so. All right, let's get into some news and notes here. Firstly, the Glow television series that uh, you've seen on Netflix. It will return for a second season. The show's Twitter page confirming on Thursday that Netflix renewed the series for another 10 episodes, which is based on the 80s women's wrestling promotion. And nothing but uh, good things that it's been heard about that. So certainly looking forward to more from Glow here. Also, WWE and PPTV announcing that WWE Network will be available in China for the first time starting this Friday, August 18th, launching exclusively on PPTV as a subscription video on-demand service featuring all WWE live pay-per-view events, including WrestleMania and the upcoming SummerSlam. Uh, PPTV customers can download the PPTV app and watch WWE Network content via smart TVs, set-top boxes, mobile devices and tablets, as well as on WWE.CN, WWE, or www.pptv.com, and sports.pptv.com. And fans can sign up in time to watch SummerSlam, which will be live in Mandarin on heh, Monday, August 21st at 7 a.m. Beijing time. The advantages of being here on the East Coast where uh, everything is kind of centralized. Uh, could you imagine watching a pay-per-view at 7 o'clock on a Monday morning? Yeah, it's one of those where you definitely have to book off work for that one. And in more international news, WWE and Canal One announcing a new agreement on Tuesday to broadcast WWE's flagship programs Raw and SmackDown in Columbia on Canal One starting... One week from today, Saturday, August 19th. That's right. Every Saturday at 3 p.m., Canal One will televise a one-hour edition of Raw, followed by a one-hour edition of SmackDown at 4 p.m., both with Spanish commentary. And in addition, beginning August 20th, WWE Experience, which airs weekly highlights of current WWE storylines, will broadcast on Sundays at 3 p.m. Uh, Michelle Wilson, the WWE Chief Revenue and Marketing Officer, saying, quote, we are pleased to have Canal One join us as our first national over-the-air broadcast partner in Colombia. This partnership allows us to expand our reach in Colombia and deliver our unique blend of action-packed, family-friendly entertainment to WWE fans throughout the country. And then uh, Felipe Bochel, the president of Canal One, saying, Keeping our promise to deliver a channel that is relevant and different from what Colombians are accustomed to seeing, it is a pleasure to partner with one of the biggest brands in entertainment, WWE. WWE is very popular in Colombia, and we are proud to be the first national over-the-air television channel to bring the best of WWE to our viewers. Now, in an interesting and uh, funny story here, uh, for the golfing fans out there, including our own uh, Merrill Reese here at WBCB, well, the PGA Championship is this weekend, and WWE Hall of Famer Ric Flair is featured delivering the introduction in a uh, new video that can be viewed on YouTube. It's one of the four major tournaments in professional golf. Kind of think of it as the uh, equivalent of Survivor Series, I guess, for WWE pay-per-views. It's a four-day tournament running Thursday through Sunday. And let's get a little, uh, little clip here of the Nate doing his thing. To be the man, you got to beat the man, baby. You know who said that? Me, nature boy. Woo! You need a certain swagger to be the man. A style and profile that's only visible when you're the best at what you do. I'm the man. can only be one. Y-E-S. Oh, he's running after it. He ran after it. Unbelievable. There's your champion. Just watch and enjoy. Woo! This year, the top contenders have come to Charlotte, North Carolina. The bright lights in the big city that I put on the map. Forget the humility and decorum and embrace the flourish. For the next four days, the man to beat is that little one inside your head. At Quail Hollow, get ready for a fight. The Green Mile, you gotta walk that mile. Woo! Three holes that 
can take you from champ to chump in a matter of minutes. It's one of the hardest finishes. This tournament's not over until that final puck goes in, because anything can happen in those last holes. So who's going to be the man this week? Rory? Ricky. They won a Quail Hollow before. DJ? Jordan? Spieth is on the doorstep of history. Absolutely magnificent. You are a legend. Ward want to make a shot of a career grand slam. To raise that trophy on Sunday, there's only one thing left to do. Look in the mirror, size up the competition, and swing those sticks. This is the 2017 PGA Championship on TNT. Woo! Uh, there you go, a little bit of the nature boy from Quail Hollow Club, which is in Flair's hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina. And who will be the man? Well, at the moment, it uh, looks like tied atop the leaderboard is Kevin Kistner and Hideki Matsuyama, both tied at eight under par, set to tee off a little over an hour from now. They have a two-stroke lead over a couple of other golfers. Man, we've talked golf, we've talked uh, football, we've talked wrestling. We're just all over the place here. Also, uh... Of note here, Ho-Ho Lun released, or requested his release from WWE to tend to his ailing mother, uh, telling WWE.com that he went to Hong Kong for vacation about three weeks ago, and that's when he realized that his mother is sick. That's why he decided to tell Matt Bloom, the head coach of the Performance Center, that he wanted to request his release. Also, former Ring of Honor champion Jay Lethal throwing out the first pitch at a Major League Baseball game this past Wednesday. Lethal tossing the first pitch prior to Wednesday's Tampa Bay Rays home game against the Boston Red Sox at Tropicana Field. It wasn't good luck for the home team, though, as they lost to the Red Sox 8-2. to Man, this is turning into Pro Sports Weekly. We've got baseball, football, golf. Don't worry, I don't have anything uh, hockey-related there, hose heads. No. Uh, also, uh, uh, WWE has confirmed that Scott Dawson of the Revival Tag Team suffered a ruptured biceps tendon at a live event over last weekend. And Dr. Chris Amon telling WWE.com that Dawson's injury is consistent with a ruptured right distal biceps tendon. And that he'll be seen for a surgical consult early in the week with the treatment most likely requiring surgical repair. WWE not putting a timeline on his return, as it won't probably be known until further evaluation is completed, but the standard recovery time is estimated between three and four months, which would put it maybe around a little after Survivor Series, I would imagine. Yeah, somewhere, give or take, around Survivor Series, maybe maybe heading into December, based on that time frame. But time will tell regarding that. And legendary professional wrestler and singer-songwriter Jeff Hardy will be performing live with his band at the Thirsty Devil in Tupelo, Mississippi on August 27th as part of his Rock concert series, R-A-W parentheses K. Doors will open at 9, show starting at 10. Known as Brother Nero in the wrestling ring, Jeff Hardy has also achieved success with his band Paroxwajin and continues to deliver great entertainment to his fans all over the world. The Raw crew has a house show in Tupelo that will wrap up prior to Jeff's gig. So certainly looking forward to that to, uh, for those who are in Tupelo, Mississippi. And uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that uh, things are getting porky at the Broken Goblet Brewery, 1500 Grundy's Lane in Bristol, PA. First, from now until 2 o'clock, you can head on over and get Broken Bloody Mary flights, where this weekend there's a special variant in the flights, a pork roll Bloody Mary. Yes, that's right. Mixologist Righteous House infused the vodka with pork roll to create a killer savory flavor. And for an extra $2, the meat lovers can get a skewer of something amazing. Delicate chunks of pork roll confit cooked slowly in bacon fat, seasoned with pepper and sea salt, and then soaked in vodka for five days. Oh, man. See my mouth's watering just describing it. Plus, make sure to get some nameless ghoul ghost stout while uh, on tap while it lasts. And also a few other goblet-related events. This Monday is Science on Tap, Untapped Quizzo, in partnership with the American Philosophical Society. 
This Monday evening at the Philosophical Hall on South 5th Street in Philadelphia. Extremely limited seating available to see owner Mike revert back to his collegiate days, minus the blonde hair and 40 of Old English. And coming up Saturday, September 23rd, the Broken Goblet teams up with the Bucks County Speedsters for the first ever Beer Mile in Lower Bucks County. It's like a variation of the Brock Lesnar shirt, Drink, Run, Repeat. Think of it as a as four quarter mile runs with a full beer in between each. Sounds easy, right? Think again. And just hitting the market, Broken Goblet Lip Balm, made with Broken Goblet's Pineapple Wheat as well as Blood Orange IPA. And those are both now on sale. Just a few reasons why it's always a good time at the Broken Goblet Brewery, 1500 Grundy's Lane in Bristol, PA. Broken Goblet Brewing, the semi-official brewery of Pro Wrestling Weekly. Please enjoy responsibly. Uh, now, I'd mentioned it a little bit earlier here, and uh, as I am want to do in terms of getting distracted, because it just it happens, what can I say? Coming up on Saturday, September 9th, uh, just four weeks from now, going to have a, a very special interview with one of the carpenters of... Uh, of professional wrestling back in the uh, the glory heydays of the late 70s uh, throughout the mid 80s. Yes, I say carpenter because uh, that that particular J word has uh, has be- become kind of uh, derogatory over the uh, over the past uh, decade or so. But uh, one of the carpenters of the business, uh, Big Ron Shaw, uh, going to be talking about uh, various matches and other stories that he has he's had throughout his career. I mean, he's wrestled. Against a lot of the greats, from uh, from Rick Martel to Andre the Giant to uh, B. Brian Blair, um, he was uh, he actually wrestled at the Spectrum in a six man tag match uh, against the then debuting Fabulous Freebirds, uh, just to name a few. Teaming up with uh, Rene Goulet, uh, uh, good old Wurzel, little OSW reference there. Uh, just just to name a few, but I, I can only imagine the uh, stories that he has, and uh, we'd be remiss if we also didn't mention the phantom submission uh, in his match against the uh, against David San Martino, son of the Hall of Fame Bruno San Martino, the phantom submission match that was held at the Spectrum here in Philadelphia. So certainly looking forward to uh, all that and more without question. So, man, where does the time go? It's... Uh, well, it certainly goes quickly. Uh, isn't that right, Ted Efaw? That is correct, sir. Yes. Uh, coming up on the uh, the country roads here for Ted, and uh, I've got a couple of minutes left, so well, we know what time it is, right? Birthdays, you jerk. Man, going south and going from the south there. All right, good job there, uh, Lucas. Looking forward to you coming back next week, I think, maybe. All right, four plus two Brucey bonuses. On this date in 1955, Paul Warden Taylor III was born, the former WCW and WWF competitor, former TNA head of talent relations, and current NXT trainer known as both Terry Taylor and the Red Rooster. Uh, Very infamously turns 62 today. Also on this date in 1972, Jonathan William Coachman was born, the former WWE commentator and authority figure and current ESPN personality turns 45 today. You've seen him on ESPN every uh, every once in a while. Also, on this date in 1985, getting a little bit more local with this, Francis Flores was born, the current GFW competitor and one half of the current tag team champions of the MFPW, better known as Falaba of the Money and the Miles, turns 32 today. And he is absolutely hysterical. I uh, definitely want to... Check out some of his stuff on social media. And on this date in 1986, Matt Sells was born. The Ring of Honor and the MFPW competitor, who is one half of the tag team Cheap Thrills, along with Jimmy Flame, turns 31 today. And the Brucey bonus, looking outside of the world of wrestling, on this date in 1971, Michael Ian Schwartz was born. The comedian, actor, writer, and director from comedy series including The State, Viva Variety and Another Period, better known as Michael Ian Black, turns 46 today. And on this date in 1963, Anthony Ray was born. The rapper and recording producer known for his double platinum chart topper, Baby Got Back, known by his stage name as Sir Mix-A-Lot, turns 54 today, and I cannot lie. 
All right, that's going to do it for me here. Until uh, next week where there's more hysteria and uh, hilarity and insanity and uh, probably even a little, bit, a little bit of Lucas as well. Play us out, Nutsy. One o'clock and all's well. Serving you better than ever before. This is 1490 WBCB.